Welcome back and today we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen episode 8 So like always, let's just jump into it Episode 8 of Jujutsu Kaisen, we got to meet some of the students from the Jujutsu Tech of the Kyoto side of Japan. That's the second school, the Jujutsu school. Uh, and I like those new characters. I can't wait to see them go all out. I'm sure we got to see just a small fraction of their power in this episode. So I can't wait for this exchange program to happen because I want to see all these students go out in like a tournament arc. I'm assuming that's what we're going to get. So it's going to be quite exciting seeing just how powerful all these students are especially after last episode where we got to see the amazing gojo go full ham on that uh curse and telling itadori that he wants all the first years to be at least as powerful as the curse he was fighting so uh that's a huge power level increase to how they are right now so i can't wait to see that but before we jump into it let me remind you to like and subscribe it definitely helps the channel out and i greatly appreciate it but let's talk about jujutsu kaisen because this episode was good we didn't get as much action as cool action as we got last episode but it was still good we, we got to meet two new characters uh toto and mai now toto is this huge buff guy and usually i don't like characters like him but he is a little bit different he is a little sensitive right he started off with asking fushigoro what type of women does he like and once fushigoro said that he likes women with a unshakable strong character uh well while Kugisaki was really impressed by that, she said that she was going to hit Fushigoro. If he said something like, you know, women with big, you know, boobs, uh, she was not going to like that. So, again, I love Kugisaki as a character. She's an awesome uh, part of the main cast. But Todo was not happy with that answer, right? He likes a completely different set of women. So, he went ham on Fushigoro. And that little hit that Fushigoro took, I honestly thought he was going to get one-shotted. And I don't know if that's because of the training that he's doing with the second years, right? Because we know Fushigoro and Kugisaki, they're definitely training with the second years. They're definitely getting stronger. It's been a, a couple of days. And if they're progressing as fast as Itadori is with his training, then I, I feel like they've gotten a little bit more powerful. Nowhere close to that special great curse level uh, curse that we met last episode. But I, I would say maybe like halfway, maybe. Uh, but I mean, either way, we see Fushigoro take on uh, Toe and it was a cool fight i mean it was one-sided right it was really one-sided because fushigoro was just getting slapped around slammed just thrown all over the place and we see just how strong todo is like he has a name for himself right for one he was the one that kind of fought a special grade and five grade one uh level curses so he did that by himself uh todo is definitely a beast i mean his power is definitely needs to be recognized and he they also mentioned getao now getao is the the one character that's been talking to the curses trying to set their revolution uh to kind of destroy all the humans and and the curses become the new humans right so we have heard getao before it seems like he was responsible for like a like a curse attack uh, a couple uh, uh, like last year and t and Todo was the one that handled it so yeah Todo is definitely somebody not to be messed with he is a third year so if that's like that at least the minimum level of power that a third year will have I can't even imagine what the top tier uh, third year students uh, are at right uh, I wonder how close Todo is compared to like Gojo like we know as from what we've seen and from what other characters have said that Gojo is definitely like top tier top of the line uh, uh sorcerer and the fact that the curses have to take out gojo for their plans to succeed just to kind of tell you how strong gojo is so i don't think toto or any of the other third year students are close to gojo's power level yet but we'll see hopefully we get there uh now we did get an awesome scene with gojo as well right he confronted the principal of the kyoto side of jujutsu high uh his name was goku ganji he's a really old man and Gojo kind of switched the schedule for the principals, right? So he can kind of sneak in and talk to him, kind of telling him, kind of giving him a warning, right? That the new students of the Jujutsu Techs, right? They're definitely on a whole different power level. Like they're getting a lot stronger to the point where special grade is not going to be uh, nearly enough 
to identify their power, right? Like you're gonna need something a lot higher than special grade because this, these kids are gonna be crazy OP, right? Especially when we start talking about Itadori who can consume the fingers of Sukuna, which is just a whole different beast, right? Like remember Sukuna has, was the strongest uh, curse there ever was. And the fact that they have to split all of his fingers into different areas so it doesn't become too powerful and they can't even destroy it. But now we have somebody that can eat them and not be hurt, control Sukuna. That's definitely a, a, a huge power level. So it seems like this conservative group that Gojo was talking about, this group won't be able to control the students. Like if you have uh, people that are the same level as Gojo when it comes to power, then they're going to start to rebel, right? Because they don't want to be controlled by the conservatives, like that group, whatever the case may be. I don't know what their goal is. Uh, maybe they're just doing everything that was that has been done through tradition. But we know Gojo has a problem with this system. He he wants to tear it down that's one of the reasons why he's kind of like a teacher right that's why he's taking uh, students like Fushigoro Kugisaki and Itadori in so he can train them to become very very powerful so they can stand up to this group the, the, the you know the top heads of the Jujutsu tech world right like the sorcerer world the people who control everything when it comes to sorcerers so I'm, I'm really excited about that Gojo again he's just a badass the, the one girl that was in the room she was definitely fangirling over him uh, so Gojo is famous as we see I mean she went after him to get a picture it was funny the old guy did not get his tea and I don't know if I feel too bad for him right like from what we've seen that Goku Ganji person might not be as good as we think right like it's, it's your typical uh like organization right like the organization heads they don't think about the rest of the people they only care about the organization and they don't care about the rest that's why they sent itadori to deal with that special grade because they wanted to actually kill itadori so all those fingers that he consumed will be destroyed permanently they don't care about the future they only care about the now so they're really like close-minded right so that's why gojo wants to like kind of uh, break that group up I'm guessing right because he doesn't want to follow those rules those traditions especially when they don't make sense like I don't see why Gojo has to follow those rules when he has like a better way maybe he can just straight up go to like the bad guys hide out and destroy them but the, the organization is telling them not to because they have laws right I'm imagining that the sorcerers they definitely have laws that they have to abide by and if they don't they might get sent to jail or I don't know what the case may be but I don't think they can actually stop Gojo right like I'm thinking I'm thinking Gojo is top tier. Now, the fight between uh, uh, Toto and the second years, it was very brief, right? Where we got to see the panda and the other second year, I don't know his name, come in. And he was able to stop him in his tracks. Maybe that's how his sorcery works. Uh, I don't know if Todo would have been able to counter it, but there was a little scene, right? Like a split second scene with Fushigoro where he said he wasn't actually fighting all out. Like he wasn't serious at all. And like he, when he focused in his eyes, Toto kind of got shooken up a little bit, right? Like, I feel like Toto definitely sensed something in Fushigoro to where he was kind of taken aback and he had to, like, you know, assess the situation. And that's when the second years came in to save him. Now, we also have to talk about Mai and Maki because those two characters, they're twin sisters. They go to two different Jujutsu Tech academies. But they essentially have the same problem, right? We see that Maki, she goes to Jujutsu Tech in Tokyo. She cannot, she doesn't have any uh, uh, sorcerer uh, energy, right? She doesn't have any source energy, while Maki has very little. And it seems like her family, they really do care about this kind of stuff. They, they don't think they're going to be good sorcerers because of this. So it seems like both of these characters, Maki and Mai, even though they're going to different academies and they kind of seem like rivals, they're working towards the same goal where they want to prove their family wrong. And now Maki, she's a second year. I'm sure she's gone out on many, many missions. So she has definitely proved herself, right? I'm guessing she's very powerful. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to this uh, exchange program because I want to see this tunis actually go all out. Now, at the end of the episode, we have the one mysterious character that we got to meet last episode. Uh, he seems to be like the leader of this uh, curse group. And he did something to the students in a movie theater. And we see another character being able to see this curse. So that should either tell you he's like a sorceress 
or, or something. Uh, maybe he belongs with Jujutsu Tech or, or, or maybe he is another curse. Who knows? But he was intrigued by the fact that this kid could actually see him. Uh, it was a huge cliffhanger. I cannot wait to see more. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen has been doing really good. I mean, I don't think this anime is doing anything special. I just think it's a very good uh, shonen. Like the story type that is set, that is telling is it, good. I like the characters. I like the story. But when you compare it to any other shonen out there, it just doesn't seem to be very, very special. But it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just we've seen all this stuff before. So uh, overall, it was a good episode. Cannot wait for episode 9. I'm sure it's going to be fire like the rest of this episode. I want to see Gojo in more action. I really want to know why he keeps covering his eyes. Right? Like I understand he, the mystery of it early on in the episodes. But now we got to see his eyes. Why does he keep covering them up? Is it something like where he, if he takes his blindfold off, he can't control his uh how uh, his powers if that's the case then okay i guess but i really want to know why he covers his eyes 24 7 but overall good episode let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode and like always leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode